Permanent here from Permanent Acres. Uh, going to be taking you through one of my first lightsaber conversion builds. So here we are. This is my conversion right here. If I remember right, I believe this is a 2015 Hasbro Force FX Darth Vader lightsaber that I converted over to a single Cree LED. It's got an aluminum blade holder that I milled out to have the windows set up in it. It's running a single momentary switch inside the bubble card and then still has the old large grips on it. So, still got the, the plastic shroud on the top and then on the bottom, if you unscrew it, you can see the electronics inside. So. This one has uh, a 2 watt, 4 ohm high bass speaker on it. It's got a Saber Core sound card. This is like one of the ones you see on eBay for like around $39 or so. It runs a single color and two sound fonts. It's very similar to the Veteran soundboard that Saber Forge uses in their lightsabers. It has got an 18650 uh, lithium ion battery in the back. This one's a rechargeable battery, but is not uh, made to run like a recharge port or anything. So it's just a uh, pop and play type battery. And then whenever this battery runs out, you switch it out with a, a newly charged battery. So you got the quick disconnect there for the LED module. These two wires are running to the momentary switch and the rest are running to the speaker and the battery. This is a very simple soundboard for if you're just wanting to run a single color but It's kind of nice having the two sound fonts in it. And you do have a pretty nice little menu where you can change your volume settings and such. So, momentary switch, either up or down. So it's got the Crimson sound font on it. And the Viridian sound font on it. And if I switch over. And each one of these sound fonts has their own menu options to change the settings. Main menu. Select optical frequency. Six. One. Two. Select. Sound intensity, low, high, music, low, high, select, impact, sensitivity, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, select, motion sensitivity, six, all settings saved. <laughs> And the same thing goes for the Viridian. You can change your optical settings, everything. So it's a really nice soundboard. This is a pretty plain Jane conversion when it comes to it. But the real cool thing is whenever you put the blade in. Grab one of my homemade blades. Slide that in there. Let's turn her on. Gives it a nice effect having the windows in the emitter. And with the single Cree, it still puts out a pretty good amount of light. 
uh, when comparing it uh, between running a tri Cree or a single Cree with this type of soundboard it's a lot better running a, a single Cree unless you're planning on doing color mixing but if you're running like something like a, a regular like um, Guardian Blue, Consular Green or just a standard Crimson Red uh, mainly you want to stick to a single Cree with this type of board but if you're trying to do something like a light blue, like ice blue, uh, more of a, a cyan color, purple, that's when you want to get a tri Cree with multiple colors on there, like um, a red, blue, blue, just depending on what kind of stage of purple you want, like red, blue, blue, or a blue, red, red. Or if you're wanting like a real light green, a white green green, or a white white green. It just depends on what kind of color combination you want. It's just that whenever you're running a tri Cree with like a saber core, it just tends to be dimmer. But it works really nice. So that's the saber core sound lord. It turned out really nice. I like it. Thanks for watching. Later, later. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.